And in case you're wondering how these pillars were formed, it all has to do with the cooling process. internet it is 8 30 in the morning and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another day another breakfast here in Iceland what do I have to say uh, I spent a night in a guest house which was lovely so all my stuff is dry again and which is great tonight I'm planning to go camping again uh, but let's see how the day will go uh, I'm gonna eat first and then I'll show you the plan for today all right so yesterday I had that really long day where I did all of this and then went back and I'm somewhere in in this area now and what I really like to do is explore a little bit of this area but what I said before there are so many deep river crossings that I couldn't continue this way so I had to turn back and I'm gonna ride around here and then try to find another way to get into this area a little bit see how far I can go until I encounter a really big uh, river crossing and then I'm planning to stay the night somewhere in this area really close to this huge glacier it's actually the biggest glacier of Iceland well this definitely was a more relaxed start of the day <laughs> than yesterday and I was rushing to pack up the tent when it was just dry I'm going to start riding without my rain jacket on. I think I'll just start positive. <laughs> Bye. Let's go. the right now and I'm close to a small town called Vik, uh, south side of Iceland and between here and Antarctica there is no landmass pretty special but anyway the reason why I came here to have a look at this black sand beach the beach here is uh, all basaltic sands have a look You can see basaltic columns as well. Fantastic. And for uh, people that are fan of Game of Thrones, this was one of the many film locations in Iceland. Sure. 
wondering how these pillars were formed. It all has to do with the cooling process. So when the lava is cooling, it cracks. And because of those cracks are regular, you get these columns. So it is super windy down here. So I'm gonna go back to Rodin and then uh, have a lunch, I think. It's almost lunch time. And then continue the ride. Okay, let's continue the ride. See if we can get some off-roading done today as well. Let's see how far we can ride before I encounter a big river or the road becomes really bad. What an awesome place to ride again. <laughs> it's a little bumpy but beautiful. And there's absolutely nobody here again. This place is amazing. Look at this. Well, I actually lost the track. Although it does seem to continue a little bit there. But, but I can already see a river there, so. Hi sheep! <sighs> wow! Really, really beautiful! Well, I didn't actually encounter a, <laughs> a river crossing yet but I'm going to turn around anyway because it's just running a little late uh, I've now been riding an hour on this uh, gravel road or unpaved road and uh, I still have uh, an hour back and then ride some more to my destination of today so uh, it was super beautiful to ride here but now it's time to uh, turn back so that's what I'm going to do.
Yes. Yeah? Okay, thanks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can go around, thanks. Very big campsite. I can just see the glacier from just behind there. How cool is that? are cooking again look <laughs> dinner is almost ready today on the menu is pasta bolognese so I'm actually <laughs> really liking these meals they are they have a lot of flavor and yeah it's just boiling water eight minutes of waiting and you have like a proper meal so a proper good enough so I really enjoy that um, I'm, I'm I paid for electricity so um, I brought like one of those plugs that I can use. So I'm now charging my audio system in my helmet so I can listen to music uh, tomorrow on my next ride. And uh, well, the entire camping field is empty, look. See, I got the whole place to myself. <laughs> so uh, no uh, noisy neighbors tonight. The wind is quite uh, cold, so that's why I'm sitting a little bit uh, sheltered here, um, kind of <laughs> behind my tent. Um, but yeah, so that's it then for today. I think I was super lucky because there was no rain today, so that was great. Really enjoyed the rides, uh, loved seeing the black sand beach and uh, yeah, some off-roading again in really beautiful scenery, so yeah. Today was really really good I enjoyed it so I hope you liked this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video